Ritualized Islamic Prayer The second pillar of Islam is the mandatory round of ritual prayers that every Muslim must perform five times every day. The Islamic method of prayer is a ritualized form of worship which involves the recitation of verses from the Holy Quran and supplications to God, all while standing, bowing, and prostrating. This mandatory act of worship is called Salah in Arabic and differs from the act of merely praying or supplicating to God in an impulsive act, just speaking one's mind. Instead, the Salah prayers demand a formalized structure in which one prays a certain way at specific times as demonstrated to us by Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, drawing direct inspiration from Angel Gabriel who learned from God himself. The Arabic word Salah, which is generally translated as prayer in English, is linguistically derived from the Arabic word meaning connection, in that this mode of prayer connects the servant with his Creator. Salah is a Muslim's way of establishing direct contact with God the Almighty. Salah represents a Muslim's affirmation of servitude and submission to his Creator's will. In Salah, a Muslim acknowledges his weakness and neediness by seeking and begging for God's guidance, mercy, grace, and forgiveness. Salah, or this Islamic ritualized prayer, is one form of worship amongst many in this beautiful faith. However, Salah holds an extraordinary status in Islam because prayer builds a relationship between a servant and his creator. Salah is considered the center pole of the religion of Islam. Whoever demolishes or denies this practice in their life demolishes his or her religion. According to Islamic scholars, this is the only form of worship which, if neglected, would exclude the disobedient from the folds of Islam. When prayer time arrives, one is expected to discontinue their present activity and pray to connect with God, the All-Merciful, refreshing his or her faith for his or her benefit. The act of prayer helps to remind one why they are here in this world and for what purpose. Prayers help direct a person's thoughts and actions away from sin, from that which is not beneficial. Prayers redirect a believer's thoughts to the remembrance of God. The Salah prayer is specifically a human form of worship. All other creatures of God, including animals and plants, submit without question to the Almighty in their unique way. Everything in the sky and earth declares Allah's perfection and worships Him in their way a way in which we humans may not understand. All other creations of God are continuous glorification, praise, and remembrance of God, and worship in their own way. Just like the other members of creation worship Allah, man is expected to worship God. Do not you see that Allah glorify Him, whoever is in the heavens and the earth, and the birds with wings outspread? Each one certainly knows its prayer and its glorification, and Allah is all-knower of what they do. Quran 2441 Humanity was created for prayer and divine worship. God states in the Quran, And I did not create the jinn and mankind except to worship me. Quran 5156 God commands humanity to establish and perfect their prayer by praying properly with concentration and the utmost humility. Every Muslim must work and practice to improve their prayer technique, which is a lifetime commitment. Muslims must engage in a lifelong effort to master this art of communication with their Creator. The ones that fall into a habitual routine, reciting their words without concentration and humility, would miss the point of prayer, not benefiting from their prayer nearly as much as those who pray earnestly and with full concentration and mindfulness. Neglecting mandatory prayer is a grave sin in the Islamic faith. Allah, the Glorious, shares a dialogue in the Holy Quran in which the residents of Paradise ask the people of the Hellfire as to the reason for their condemnation, and that condemned respond. They will say, We were not of those who prayed, nor did we used to feed the poor, and we used to indulge in vain talk with vain talkers, and we used to deny the day of recompense until there came to us the certainty. Quran 74, 43-47 The state of one's prayer will be the first thing that will be asked of each on the great day of judgment. 
If one's prayers was in order, then everything else will fall into place. If one's prayer was not in order, then he will be doomed. The Messenger of Allah stated, The first of man's deeds for which he will be called to account on the day of resurrection will be Salat. If it is found to be perfect, he will be safe and successful. But if it is incomplete, he will be unfortunate and the loser. At Tirmidhi Prayer should be directed only to God the Almighty, as He is the only one in full control of everything, including man's destiny. He is all-powerful, all-wise, all-knowing, all-hearing, and can fill anyone's needs and remove all of man's pain and miseries. The Islamic ritual of prayer expresses submission to God, showing humility to, devotion toward, and love of God. Praying to the Creator daily is the best way to build a personal connection with Him while seeking His guidance, blessings, and forgiveness. Muslims pray to God to gain spiritual strength and peace of mind and to strengthen the foundation of their faith. A Muslim temporarily steps out of his or her daily activities five times a day to connect to God, to stay mindful of Him in this world of stress, struggle, and distractions. Prayers remind Muslims that Allah is in control of all things so they can put their worldly concerns into perspective. The Islamic prayer method and mode act as a spiritual diet, such as the body requires food and water throughout the day, or spirit needs to partake in the remembrance and worship of God to stay spiritually healthy. Is not the soul more valuable than the body? When someone does another person a favor or helps them, it's human nature to want to thank that individual for their aid. Since God has blessed humanity with a countless number of favors, including one's wealth, health, family, and gifts of all kinds, a Muslim prays numerous times to thank him throughout their day and night. The best way to demonstrate gratitude is through these five daily prayers. The Islamic ritual prayers come with many benefits in this world and the next for the ones that engage in them sincerely and mindfully with concentration and humility. Amongst the benefits of praying is that the act guards and protects the believer from sins and evil doings. Recite what has been revealed to you of the book and establish the prayer. Indeed, the prayer prevents from the immorality and evil deeds, and surely the remembrance of Allah is greatest, and Allah knows what you do. Quran 29.45 when one becomes lackadaisical in their worship or neglects prayer altogether, he or she will experience the consequence of feeling distant from God, which may cause increased instances of sinning and evil doing. As they distance themselves from prayer and the remembrance of God, they become easier targets for Satan to reach out and tempt them. The one that guards and faithfully practices his prayers would be mindful of everything else that matters. The one that neglects his prayers would be neglectful of what matters in this life. Amongst the many benefits of prayer is the transformative power that prayer has on a person. Prayer transforms a person's attitude, behavior, mentality, thoughts, and priorities, redirecting these elements to what really matters in life. Prayer softens one's heart towards Allah and His creation. Muslims that are steadfast in their prayer are continually looking to help others and have a genuine concern for them, not just themselves. If one does not see the benefits and positive effects of their prayers, one should question their sincerity, humility, and concentration in praying. God references the fate of past generations who did not take advantage of their prayers, wasting time. But there came after them successors who neglected prayer and pursued desires, so they are going to face destruction. Quran 1959 Salah, prayer, is also connected to the state of our Ummah, Muslim community. If our prayer is strong, then everything else in the state of our community will be healthy. Prayer solves those many problems our nation is facing. Much like the pillars of a building, where one cannot move them and need to walk around them physically, a Muslim's life revolves around their five daily prayers. Instead of casually trying to fit their prayers into their life, a Muslim's prayers are always their top priority in life. Everything else comes secondary. The five obligatory daily prayers for Muslims are Fajr prayer, from dawn to right before sunrise. Zuhr prayer, just after noon, midday when the sun passes the median point in the sky. 
Asr prayer, late part of the afternoon, halfway between noon and sunset. Maghrib prayer, directly after sunset. Isha prayer, late evening, dark night, approximately an hour and a half after sunset. The five daily prayers set a rhythm of a Muslim's day. Prayers must be performed at their appointed due times unless a reasonable excuse exists to delay them. Prayers are prohibited to be postponed to where they overlap into the next prayer's time frame. Before the prayer is begun, a Muslim is required to perform ablution, wudu in Arabic, which is the act of cleaning and purifying oneself from any physical bodily fluids such as blood, urine, or any impurity with water. The ritual of ablution comprises washing one's hands, face, arms, head, and feet. It's essential that a Muslim must be clean and free impurities in his body, clothing, and the area in which prayer will be performed. One drop of waste matter present anywhere would void one's prayer. Prayers can either be performed individually or in a congregation with others at a mosque, a Muslim place of worship, which is highly recommended for males. In Muslim countries, prayer is publicly announced to the community, not by bells, but by an Islamic chant or call of prayer known as Adhan in Arabic. Prayer is commenced by standing up, facing the direction of Mecca, in present-day Saudi Arabia, where the Holy House of God, known as the Kaaba, is situated. Muslims from all over the globe face the direction in which the first house was built for the worship of the one God. It's important to note that Muslims do not worship the Kaaba. Instead, Muslims only use the Holy House as a direction to face while worshiping the one God, as instructed by God Himself. During prayer, Muslims are directed to disconnect themselves and clear their minds of any worldly matter as they are conversing with God. They pray to a God who is near, who is all-loving, all-hearing, all-caring, all-powerful. A Muslim is to concentrate on their words and humble themselves only to the Almighty. A Muslim affirms that God is the master and that he or she is the servant and slave of God who needs the Almighty's direction, help, and guidance to the straight path. The Islamic prayer is so sacred that it is prohibited for one to eat, drink, or hold a conversation as they pray. Muslims are commanded to pray in how was taught by Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. The Islamic prayer movements comprise standing, bowing, and prostrating. According to our Prophet, man is closest to God when he is in prostration. The prayer comprises recitations from the Holy Quran, praises of the Almighty, and supplications seeking guidance, forgiveness, and more. And establish prayer, and give zakah, and bow with those who bow in worship and obedience. Quran 2, 43. While not mandated, it is highly encouraged for one to awaken in the middle of the night to pray to God, as this is a common practice of righteous people. The Islamic prayer is a ritual which has been unchanged for more than 1400 years and is repeated five times a day by hundreds of millions of people all around the globe. Earlier prophets and messengers also performed Salah prayer, in which the act of prostration was involved. According to the Gospel of Matthew, Prophet Jesus fell with his face to the ground and prayed. Going a little farther, he fell with his face to the ground and prayed, My Father, if it is possible, may this cup be taken from me, not as I will, but as you will. Matthew 26, 39. It is important to note that God is transcendent free of all needs and independent. He is in no need of human worship or reverence as he gains nothing from it. Muslims do not pray or worship God for God's sake. Instead, they praise and worship God for their own sake. God made worship and the remembrance of him beneficial to mankind, both in this world and the next. And whoever strives only strives for the benefit of himself. Indeed, Allah is free from need of the world's. Quran 29.6 The benefits of praying to the Almighty are vast, and the blessings of prayer are beyond our imagination. Prayer motivates one to do good and strive for the best, so one can live a good life in this world, and in the next world, eternally. Indeed, I am Allah. There is no deity except me, so worship me and establish prayer for my remembrance. Quran 20.14